Hey everybody, this is Miss Marcy and I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about the unfortunate tragic situation concerning Kim Porter. Now for anyone who doesn't know, Kim Porter is the ex of P. Diddy, but she is also the mother of three of his children and she also shares a child with R&B singer and producer Albie Shore. So basically what happened was on November the 15th, which was this past Thursday, Kim was found unresponsive in her home and they called 911 and, uh, the 91, whoever called 911, they reported a cardiac arrest. Okay. So when the, you know, the paramedics came out, they pronounced her dead. So basically she passed away unexpectedly, just suddenly, just, you know, and, and the cause of death is not clear. Although reports are saying that she had been treated, she would have been being treated for flu-like symptoms, possibly pneumonia. And they also said that she had just came back from a trip from Africa. So, um, nobody's clear on whether or not she contracted something while she was over there. Nobody knows at this point. An autopsy was done, um, originally. However, they still needed some more tests to conclude exactly the cause of death. The report is still not in on that. So people are waiting on that. And I've been following the story too, because this is just, it's just crazy. We'll remain in contact, uh, LAPD homicide with the doctor. Um, we don't, do not see any foul play at this point. So we'll, we'll just keep in contact with the doctor based upon his investigation. And how do you rule that out so quickly when it comes to foul play? No one's ruling out anything at this point. The cause of death is just undetermined because we don't know the cause of death. There's no obvious signs of death um, upon examining the decedent. Okay, do you know where the victim was found in bed and on the floor or how it happened? She was found in, she was found in her bedroom upstairs. In, I mean, in bed or just on the floor? In bed. In bed. In bed. The, the call came in at what time this morning to you? Do you know? Uh, I, don't, I don't have that time with me right and now. And when you arrived, Ms. Porter was dead at the scene? Yes. There was no resuscitation or any attempts made at that point. Then. She had already been she already been pronounced by the time we, we were notified. And and the person that told you about this, did they tell you how long she had been dead at that point? Yes, we have spoken to every, everybody inside the house, okay. and uh, we are working on trying to find out the last time that anybody actually observed her alive. Okay. Was was P Diddy home at the time of her death, or just here when you got here? Uh, I, I'm not. I can't comment on that. What about the children? They were here. We've seen them in it coming in and out of the house. They were at home as well. Uh, I don't believe the children were home at okay. the time. Okay. As far as the LAPD is concerned, this goes now to the coroner. Well, LAPD will uh, keep an open investigation uh, as an undetermined death. Uh, we're not investigating it as a homicide by any means at this point. It's just undetermined until we get the ruling from the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office based upon their investigation. Our, our news chopper saw Mr. Combs speaking with your detectives. Was that just sort of pro forma, just a matter of gain information from him, and was he cooperative at this time? Mr. Combs was extremely cooperative and, and obviously very upset. Um, uh, we had basic questions uh, for him for, uh, for us to be able to conduct our investigation. Okay. So he was willing, cooperative, and... How would you describe his demeanor right now at this point? Uh, he's very upset, and which is understandable. Um, he's extremely cooperative uh, with us, and uh, you know our, our hearts go out to him and his family. Okay, so yeah, I just saw that video where they are basically saying at this point they do not suspect foul play. You know, the thing is, Kim was so loved. I mean, I wouldn't even expect someone to even, you know, want to even do anything hurtful to her. She seemed like she was such a a very loving, very, very warm, just a all around very good soul. And, you know, even though, you know, Kim wasn't the type of woman, she didn't seem like the type of woman who tried to make a lot of noise in the media. I mean, think about it. Her baby's father is puffy you know what i'm saying well i still like to call him puffy and she could be all in the light it's like it's it, the thing about it with that i noticed it seemed like she wasn't all in the light all like that like trying to get you know always get, trying to get attention always doing this or doing that but a lot of people knew who kim was and knew exactly who she was and she didn't have to try to make a lot of noise she didn't have to try to be uh and in the light all the time she got the light shine you know the light was already always shine shining on her regardless but that just go to show you just how much of an impact she even had on people it just seemed like she was a quiet 
yet gentle spirit so it's just very unfortunate that this has happened and like i said the cause of uh, the cause of the death is very unknown so y'all know at this point people are already trying to find and make up conspiracy theories and things like that which i just don't believe i just think that unfortunately um something might have i don't know what could have happened uh, like i said it could have been from when she went over to Af africa i don't know I don't want to make any, um, any, uh, allegations or any speculations, but I don't believe those conspiracy theor theories that I've seen either. And another thing I want to say is regardless of who Puffy was with or whatever, it, it seemed like you just always knew that he had a special love for Kim. You know, it just seemed like they, they were really good friends and they showed us as, especially us black folks. They showed us through their actions, him, Puffy, and all of his kids, you know, moms. They showed us how co-parenting should look. It doesn't always have to be a hateful thing. You don't always have to be going back and forth and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, like some of these other people be all in the media going back and forth, just dragging each other through the mud. We never saw that with any of Puffy and his kids' mamas. And as far as I'm concerned, Kim had a lot of reasons to be like that. I mean, you remember back when he got with J-Lo and, you know, just other little stuff that transpired between them. But, you know, again, they remained really, really good friends. And it was beautiful. It was just beautiful, the kind of relationship they all had. But I know this is like a super blow to Puffy. And I just kept thinking about those kids. I just kept thinking about her children and then the twins are still young. I think they're only about like 11 or 12. And it's just, oh my gosh. It's just a very, just a very tragic situation. You know, our prayers go out to them. And I don't know. It's just really sad. But I always, I always wondered why he never married her. I always wondered why he never married Kim. But hey, I mean, you know, I again, I, I'm not in their life. I don't know them like that. You know, I don't know those people, but just wondered um but anyway so there's been a, a major outpour on social media um amongst the celebrities and stuff and just amongst people in general it just seemed like kim just had a very strong impact on people she was a model she also did um a couple of uh i think she did, made appearances in a couple of movies and a couple of shows you know kim was doing her thing um, but like I said, she wasn't a spotlight whore. You know, she wasn't that type of person. I, I have not heard anything. Honestly, I haven't heard any. I've never heard anything bad about Kim. Never heard anything bad about her. So I just wanted to get on here and just speak on it. Because like I said, it's just such a sad and unfortunate situation. I will be following the story. Um, I want to see what the cause of death was. Oh, and before I forget. So any of you listeners who grew up in the 90s era i'm pretty sure y'all remember the classic hit by joe to see forever my lady so that song was actually written by albie shore which is kim's son's quincy's father okay and now also quincy was named after legendary the legend quincy jones basically albie shore wrote the song and it was inspired by his love and his relationship with Kim because at the time she was actually pregnant with Quincy, their son Quincy, who is also uh, he's he plays on that show Star. So she was pregnant with him, and that's why at the beginning of the song he says, "So you have it, my baby," and it means so much to me. So that was Albie Shore's song to Kim. I just thought that was so sweet, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that too. Um, so anyway, basically guys, you know, that's all I wanted to say about this whole situation. Yeah. So till next time, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Ms. Marcy. Peace.